Hey guys, welcome back to part two of the lasagna with Cooking with the Reaper, your heavy metal chef. Give me a few moments, folks. I'll come right back. We'll get rolling. Hey everyone, welcome back. All right, we got our pan for the lasagna. Uh, I went ahead and sprayed it. Uh, there is olive oil on the bottom. And here's a little hack for your lasagna noodles. You don't actually have to boil them. Just throw them in the hottest tap water you can get for about 15 minutes. You're good to go because it's going to cook in the oven. All right, so I got my ricotta. I got one egg. We're going to go ahead and throw in some garlic powder and some salt and pepper. Also, a little nutmeg, about, about a quarter teaspoon maybe, some oregano and basil. We're going to go ahead and get this all incorporated together. Won't take too long. This is the special layer of the lasagna, which, you know, I can't, I can't get, my little guy says he don't like lasagna. So I'm like, hmm, how can I make this interesting? So I'm going to put a layer of pepperoni in there. What? Pepperoni? I've, I've had lasagna with pepperoni in it. We're going to try it. I'm trying to make it enticing for... For Gunchy. By the way, look him up on YouTube, guys. If you got kids that are gamers, check him out. Well, it is. What's your game gamer tag now, buddy? Got our ricotta all mixed up, and I went ahead and I already fresh grated all my cheese. We have uh, mozzarella. We have smoked gouda. We also have fresh grated parmesan. Okay, we got some Romano here, fresh grated. We're going to go ahead and just sprinkle that over each layer. Okay. This is where I always make a mess. I'll move everything around here. That way we have a place to work. Right, so there's our noodles. Got the scissors here. That way we can make them fit. sauce which I've already heated back up not not smoking hot but I did heat it up all right so what we're gonna do we're gonna start off with just one thin layer of sauce on the bottom we don't want the noodles to fill left out we might have like separation anxiety disorder or something so we're going to throw some sauce on there. Keep it from burning as well. Right. And we're going to go ahead and... See that, folks? Didn't boil them. Easy to work with. going to overlap them just a hair. Just... Drain the water off as you're pulling them out. This is the, the biggest, deepest pan that I could find. In my arsenal of cookware. I don't know what that was. We didn't need that. Alright. So we got, we got one layer of noodles in there. We're going to go ahead and we're going to sauce it up. I'll fill in the, the gap that we get because I'll just alternate the way we layer the noodles. Like I said yesterday, it does take a lot of sauce for your lasagna. But this is layers of ecstasy here, folks. And we're going to go ahead and sprinkle uh, some of that cheese mixture. 
You can see the different colors of the cheeses. The Gouda is the darker color. Romano, we're just going to sprinkle each layer with some fresh grated Romano. In this pan, it gets wider as we go up to the top. Just go ahead and use your scissors to fill in the holes. If you want, you don't have to go too extreme like that. But And just sort of gonna, we're gonna press it down. You can use a bowl or a pan for that. Mm -hmm. Gonna go ahead and another layer of sauce. If you have any leftover sauce, you can freeze it. Look at that, folks. That's a nice, meaty sauce. Right. Now we're going to go ahead. Special layer of the ricotta. It just sinks right in. Oops. They're on a pepperoni, folks. Law soldier. Man down. I'm just going to go ahead and just throw it. I'm not going to put a ton of pepperoni on there. But we're going to make sure there's some in there for the gunshot. Who doesn't want to talk on camera? That's why he wouldn't tell me his gamer tag earlier. So I guess you're just going to have to search for him. His loss. Awesome kid. Love him to death. So I had about, I don't know, 20 pieces of pepperoni there. We don't want the one to hit the floor. Alright, there's our ricotta. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to put some more mozzarella and gouda. Fresh grated cheese is not supposed to pull up. That's what happens when you use skin.
little pepper. Layers, layers of different flavors. Salt. Salt and pepper to taste, folks. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and do another layer. Get back there. He can't wait to get in that pan. He's like, yeah, let me go. I want to be a winner. All right. We'll go ahead and fill in the gaps. You can buy this stuff in sheets at your Italian store. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a press because I want to get at least another layer on there. Let's see. Yeah. I use my coffee cup, but it's sort of like drinking the coffee that's in there. Another layer of sauce. This is your ultimate lasagna, folks. Just amazing. Italians are awesome. I know. Thank you. All right. I might be able to put another layer of noodles on there, or not. We'll see. I will press it down. We will succeed. Cheesy awesomeness, folks. I've already got my oven preheated. 375. Another layer of Romano. And for the last layer. Let me see here, folks. Let me see if I can find something to smash this down. I do want another layer on here. We're going to put this on a pan, folks, so that way, uh -oh. I think we're going to be shy of noodles. Yes, we are. We'll spread it apart. That's all right. We, we can make that work. All right.
something told me to open the other box. Always go with your first instincts. That's all right. We're gonna throw, get our sauce on there. Another layer of cheese. Yeah, no use in opening another box of lasagna noodles for one. That's all we were shying about one noodle in. <laughs> See if I wouldn't have filled in the missing spots, we'd have been all right. Sprinkle pepper on there. Because everyone else, they can salt and pepper to taste, you know. And a little sprinkle of salt. Super tight because I don't want the cheese to stick. Right. And we're gonna go ahead and set it on top of the pan. Just in case we get some spillage, we don't have to worry about it. Seventy-five, done deal. Be back when it's finished. Hey guys, welcome back. We got our lasagna out of the oven. It's a thing of beauty. I've let it cool. I did take the foil off with about 10-15 minutes left just to sort of let it brown a little bit on top. And, uh, we got a little thunderstorm going on first day of December. Nice. But uh, we're going to go ahead and I've let it cool. Going to go ahead and cut it. And I told the little guy I'd give him just a little tiny piece. cheesy. That's some cheesy awesomeness there, folks. And we'll get out gun cheese. 
lasagna. The little baby piece. There you have it, folks. The world's best lasagna. Coming at you with another episode of Cooking with the Reaper. Thank you all for being here. I hope you all have a blessed Sunday. See you next time.